Okay, so I'm gonna do a real quick video. It'll be kind of ghetto because I'm spicing it in. I gotta do it quick before I go to work. So I have this charger here, the Scosh. I think it's called the Revive. See, as you see, it's for it's made for the iPad, 2.1 amp and 1 amp. And I've noticed now when I used my Thunderbolt, my HTC Thunderbolt, I didn't have a problem um, with the screen on. Uh, tethering to a tablet didn't have a problem with the battery light. The battery would basically stay charged. And I've noticed with the Galaxy Nexus, pretty much period, no matter what I'm doing, even the screen off, tethering, it's not keeping up. The phone is discharging faster than it can charge. And then I noticed that the app I have, this app was saying, was saying AC. Now, Let's see. I mean, I'm saying USB, so let's show you that right now. So she says USB. So, after doing a little research, and I've noticed in the past, but I wasn't paying attention, so after doing some research, I noticed that the problem is, it has to do with the data pins. So this, basically, for some odd friggin' reason, the data pins are, well, basically, they're set up for data. Which means that it charges at the USB spec of... 500 milliamps or half an amp. At that charging speed, the phone will not charge. Um, I think a phone at load, when you're tethering and doing other stuff with the screen on, is probably around like four or five hundred milliamps being used, um, maybe less. But basically, if you're getting any charge at all, it's trickle charge, insufficient. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this. And I haven't actually done this, and I haven't even verified this, so I'm kind of just doing this willy nilly. So we'll see. if it works. Oh, wait. All right, so let's see what we got here. There's the two plugs. The black one's one amp, the white one's iPad. Pretty uh, fitting since everything iPad is white. Alright, so what we have here, from what I could tell, hmm. Okay, so those four big pins look like they're just the mounting pins. So the data pins are these ones in here, in between. So these. Small contacts are the ones we got to worry about. I'm sorry, heating up my soldering iron. Where the hell up my soldering iron? Alright. So basically what we're going to be doing is... I'm going to try it on the one amp first. I'm going to solder these two middle pins. together. Now, I don't know the ideal solder to use. I'm going to use some solder I have lying around the house. Some stuff I bought from Radio Shack like 10 years ago. Now, while I'm letting the soldering iron charge to heat up, I will go ahead and show you. Uh, see, can I resemble this charger? Let me get away real quick. Actually, I don't need to show you. You take my word for it that this charger currently charges um, USB USB style. <coughs> I have another ghetto charger, or generic charger here that I was going to mod to, but alas, I can't figure out how to get the damn thing open. It's just this thing just cracks open and pops right back together. I figured it'd be easier doing it. Okay, I don't think it's hot enough yet to heat up the solder, but let's try anyway. Turn off. There we go. Okay.
Come on, Southern. <coughs> Southern kind of stinks. Come on, focus on the soldering iron, yay! You know what? Let's twist this bead together. I should prep for these videos when I do these things. Now, so you know, I am not very good at soldering. I did a little bit of soldering, you know, modding Xboxes back in the day. I modded my own Xbox and modified my Wii when they first came out. But I am not very good at soldering. It's almost hot enough. There we go. Whoops, off the, off the camera. All right. See, don't you very good at this? Oh, the melting point is damn. There we go. The melting point on the side is already there. It's kind of a, kind of a bitch. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna add some more solder to this. Ah. This is why when you do this stuff, you're supposed to have something holding everything together. These bees just don't want to go together. How much damn solder do I need for these to stay together? There we go. All right, now let's try this out. It doesn't change the clearance any, so it's just a foot, just fine. off camera.
do do There we go. Didn't have as much trouble last time I put the standing back together. There we go. Alright, put the fuse in. Ah! <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright. Alright, lights on. Let's take which one uses my USB cable. Wrong cable. I have these two cables bound together. Okay, so cable plugged in. Charging. AC! Yay! Okay, so, as you see, bridging the second and third, so basically the two middle points, because so there's four pins, bridging those pins made it do AC. Now, unfortunately, it's a Samsung phone, so there's going to be no data about the, um, the actual uh, amperage charging. I don't think that you can do get those on these phones, even with like an MCAT or a LogCat, whatever you call it. But yeah, there you go. So that, that's it. That's, that's it. How the mod works. I made the video, a little impromptu video, because I noticed online that there was a lot of people talking about it and explaining it. Uh, I saw very few pictures and no videos. So there we go.